So Claire's here for Music Limited. But then, that's the first time I've used this heat press in a hot minute. So I knew there was a problem. Good afternoon. It is um, a little bit later in the day than I anticipated. It's like 3.30 in the afternoon and I wanted to vlog all day. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Um, so Claire's here from Music Limited and we are making her some mouse pads right now. So um, I'll show you a little bit of that process. And if I remember, I'll film some more this evening. <laughs> I, I made a stupid, silly mistake. Um, I turned my heat press on, but it wasn't heating up. And there was an error message on the screen. It said 458. What? what? I've never seen that before. Weird. Couldn't find anything online about it. And I even called and they're like, okay, send a video with uh, the details to this email address. I'm like, okay, I did. And then I discovered it. This was not plugged into the machine. <laughs> and it's very important because that is what connects the platen to the control box. So yeah, dumb mistake, but lesson learned. Uh, we're heating up now, we're about 2.34, and then we've got two prepped, and then I wanna make sure these come out okay before I print the other sheets, and then maybe we'll give you a little sneaky peeky in a minute. I was able to do the first few mouse pads, the first two, and they came out pretty good. Um, I do have some issues with the lines on one of them, but I'll give you a little sneak peek. So you can see in the camera the lines, the horizontal lines going across. So I have to figure that out. It might be the way that I have it, um, might be the paper that I have it, I don't know. So we'll see. But then, that one is literally so cute it says cloudy with a chance of music and it has the sulfage on the top so cute the color on that one came out perfectly so that one is really really good we are printing um six more designs and we'll be pressing those and getting those all done and then after that not sure what we're gonna get up to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and keep pressing these mouse pads and then maybe we'll take a couple of photos. We'll see if I can get the lighting in here to cooperate. I don't wanna put too much on the power in here, so I need to like turn, as soon as we're done with the heat press, then I can unplug that and then plug in my ring light and then we can like take some pictures and see how that comes out. So I'm uh, printing out some more designs and then we'll do more mouse pads. So there's the black and white. Here is the elementary instruments. That one's mine, that one's an old one. Here's the solfege, and then the mint music notes, but we have to probably redo that one. Um, and then we have the other designs that I printed, but again, you can see the horizontal lines. And so I don't, I know those are gonna come across, so I don't want to, I don't want to, 
waste another mouse pad with those because I know they're not gonna work. So we're gonna try and redo those designs and see if I can get them to print correctly. That's the first time I've used this heat press in a hot minute. It feels really good and I love making mouse pads. They're some of my favorite things to make. Oh, this is so cute. Isn't it so cute? I like this one. Does it just me or is it like kind of yellowy? The white might like, be a little bit yellow. I'm like wondering if I should make the colors darker. It's not, what do you mean, the white but part? Does it look rainbow? Yeah, yeah, it looks rainbow. It's giving me like orange and yellow are like leaving the show. Yeah. Because there's only four reds and there's like mm -hmm. six me's and like so many oranges. There's a lot of me's, yeah. So I could either make the print bigger or we can change the colors. What if we made the print smaller? Make it smaller, yeah, we could do that too. More like the music notes. Yeah. I'm very happy with how those came out. Except again, the music, the blue music note and the bohos had the lines in it so I have to figure that out but we're gonna um, do some troubleshooting and then we might do a little bit of product photography Ooh, and a tumbler yes so we'll do a tumbler too good morning <laughs> today is Tuesday um, I've been doing an awful awful rubbish job at filming this weekend just because I've just been being in the moment being present while Claire's here we've been having some fun we've just been just real chill so last night actually we were having some problems printing some of the uh, mouse pads that we wanted to make and so this morning I've been spending a lot of time troubleshooting what's going on and so uh, here is one of the designs that we wanted to print I don't know if it's gonna pick up on the camera but there are vertical lines in the prints. I think you can see it a little better. There's vertical lines, those little dark lines there. Um, and then there's vertical lines in this one too. And it was only on this color and um, one of the other, oh, the woodwind instruments. There's a lot of vertical, you can see it really well on this one. So what I did was I printed a, um, I have a Sawgrass SG-1000 and I printed a color chart and as you can see the magenta is the only one that has the lines in it so I knew there was a problem with the ink line of the magenta so I ran two print head cleans on the magenta and yellow because they're the same on the same print head so I ran two clean cycles and then this is the second color chart that printed out and as you can see it is way better than it was so that seems to have helped a lot because now this is the last one that I just printed. As you can see, the lines are no more. So I'm firing up the heat press so that we can get these on mouse pads and see how they look. So I'm kind of sad because Claire is going home today. We have so much fun together and I'm kind of sad that she's leaving, but I'll be visiting her um, next very soon. We haven't planned it out quite yet, but it will probably be within the next few months. But in the meantime, uh, today, the rest of today, she flies out today at about, her plane leaves at 4.30, but she needs to be at the airport around 2.30, so we're leaving here at 1.30. And then in the meantime, I'm doing these mouse pads. It's 10 o'clock now, so we're gonna try our best to go back downtown uh, where we went yesterday. I'll insert a couple of clips here so that you can kind of see what we got up to. <laughs> oh, you are, it's real. Put the dipper back in. We gotta fish it out like an egg. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Look at that, we gotta take it to the cardboard. Oh boy. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yay, let's see your haul. Come here, let me see. Wow. Oh my goodness, look at all those eggs. It's so full. And it's a basketball egg. Oh, and a basketball egg. And you dropped it. Yeah, you dropped it. Should we go inside and check everything out? Yes. All right, let's, yes. let's do it. We had so much fun and we did so much stuff, but we really wanna take some product photos of some of her things. So I think we might go run back downtown today 
uh, before she leaves so that we can maybe go to a coffee shop and take some more product photos and just like do a mini photo shoot. It's a beautiful day today. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, the birds are chirping. It's just gorgeous outside. So I think we're gonna try and take some photos. So if we do that, I will definitely be taking you with me this time. In the meantime, I'm just waiting for my heat press to heat up gonna take a while it usually takes a long time to heat up I'm gonna print out the other design because there's one more I haven't print the woodwinds yet so I'm gonna do that one and then get these uh, pressed and then get ready we're gonna go hang out uh, doing some photo shoots hopefully Yeah, so much better. The color is way better too. Do you like how light it is? Yeah, I like that one better. Because we, if you wanted to make it darker, we could. I but like that one. I'm having problems with the woodwinds um, mm. and the design not connecting well. So I'm still working on that one, but I don't know if we'll be able to do that one right now. We'll see. If I get ready and we leave here by 11, that'll give us a couple hours. Oh, we're gonna leave. 12-1? One. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not gonna take a shower, I'm just gonna freshen up. I haven't redone this one yet, because I haven't cleaned it out yet. That's fun. Yeah, you know, so This is my favorite. Is it? Mm -hmm. This one definitely has a seconds now, because yeah. when I print the other one out, I have two yeah, more. This one is like Okay, we have come downtown and we're gonna try this place called The Cellar Door. I'm really excited to try it and see what it's like. And we're gonna try and get a table and sit down so we can take some photos and like draw on our iPads while we're there. But if not, then I'm thinking maybe we can go to the park. Or do you wanna go back to Barker? Or we could go I don't know. Maybe we could go back to that cute party store and ask them if we can take photos. <laughs> so we're going to try that and then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can come up with. All right, let's go. That is not 